I think, um, hmm, yeah, we'll keep working on it. I don't, I'm trying to brainstorm on the spot here. How could we improve? Cell Super Comp Pacer. Oh, it took a long time. Sorry about that. Is we've been testing this shoe for at least six weeks, maybe even eight weeks. So thank you for your patience. I do appreciate it. That's right. There is a plate. In, ooh, gotta be careful. There is a plate inside. Ooh, interesting. I'm hearing some cracking, just like a little bit. Anyway, Super Comp Pacer Energy Arc through that midsole. We're looking at 28 in the heel. It is a neutral road racing shoe we'll answer that here in a minute so it's twisting but not crazy amounts okay i'm putting quite a bit of force that energy arc you can definitely feel it under step 28 in the heel 20 in the four foot four really a medium to low stack height okay let's put it on the scale in my size there is the uh there, there it is on your screen in women's size eight men's size nine okay 6.3 ounces which you might be getting excited about but Given the stack height, I'm actually not crazy excited about that type of weight. I would have expected that low of stack height. So we're not even in the 30s in the heel, 28, you know? We're not even like 32 or 36. Uh, I would have expected that weight to be at least under six ounces in my size, which is why the score is just a little bit below average engineered mesh. Wow, look at the breathability through the toe box, really unbelievable. Um, let me just remind myself, yeah, very, very thin, thin tongue, which did impact the lockdown. The laces were fine. Um, I felt pretty locked in in that heel pocket. Nothing amazing, but pretty locked in through the heel pocket, through the testing, okay? And uh, let me just feel out this, yeah. And listen, it is, a, it is being put into that racing category, 5K, 10Ks on the roads. Um, so I'm not looking for incredible comfort when it comes to the collar or the heel counter for racing shoes. You know, some people might want that, but for me, I'm not as concerned, especially for such a short race like a 5K or a 10k so overall score for the upper there you have it soak it in fuel cell through the midsole all right it's a nitrogen fuel tpu performance foam um let's see my gut was telling me that the the energy arc that plate inside there coupled with this type of stack height it didn't feel great i'm just gonna Call it as, like, I don't know if it was the foam. I don't know if it was the positioning of the plate in the foam. Like if it needed to go higher up in the foam, uh, or sorry, 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 lower in the foam, so closer to the road, it just didn't feel awesome. And I, I was, I was, slightly uncomfortable now listen i didn't get a chance to race in the shoe okay so maybe at you know really fast speeds all out you know it would feel a little bit better but i just was yearning for maybe maybe i'm just getting a little a little older but a little um too used to maximalist or high stack height type of carbon fiber shoes so it wasn't horrible but I'm not saying it was incredibly comfortable either for that rider and energy and the overall score either. In fact, it is, I'm seeing quite a bit of creasing and actually let's do the durometer right now. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, wow, 30. So it felt soft, but coupled with that energy arc, yeah, 30, wow, okay, no wonder. Hold on, let me just put it there. 34 there, but I'm gonna go with 30. I got 30 twice. Wow, wow, that's pretty low. So it's very soft, but it didn't feel soft understepped. Very interesting. I don't know. That was my experience. Outsole was very pleased with, okay. Love that decoupled groove. Hopefully nobody would get rocks stuck in there. I could see that potentially being a problem if you may, but at the same time, if you're doing 5Ks, 10Ks on the road, hopefully you're not stepping on any rocks for that uh, outsole there. Fit true to 
two sides. Okay, seven and a half. No issues there. Uh, maybe, yeah, no, for a racing shoe, you don't want to be slipping around. I had plenty of space, not too much, but plenty of space through that toe box as well. Well, comfort, sorry, sorry, five out of 10. Positive, I'm gonna go with breathability for these summer months, okay? Like, it just really felt nice on the hot summer days that are now here officially, in, and it's not, even, it's not even humid here in Colorado, so I can't imagine being somewhere where it's really humid, so I really enjoyed the breathability. Drawback is gonna be the plate and the stack height, the plate and the stack height. Not sure what to do about that, yeah. Anyway, I'll keep using the shoe. Who knows, maybe I'll hop in a 5K or 10K this summer, uh, but at this point, it just didn't feel awesome to me, okay? Durability prediction, 300. How will I use this shoe? I would use it, I wouldn't even do tempos in it, frankly, like for me, okay? Uh, we did get it to 50 miles, but it just took a long, long time time so price point 150 um man i'm just trying to think i would probably the other shoes to buy are on your screen right now nike streak fly and the takumi sen 8 um <laughs> interesting man i don't even know hmm <laughs> like okay i gotta put this on this hold on hold on let me just put this this is the kinvara 13. Let me just remind myself how much this guy weighs. I would almost race a 5K or 10K in the Convara 13 over this Super Comp, just for the sake. Hold on, let me turn that on. Just for the sake of comfort and weight. I think it's I think it's lighter. 6.8, mm, maybe not, maybe not. Hold on, nope, I don't think it is. 6.3, 6.4. So it is lighter than New Balance Super Comp, but man, I'd almost go for the Kinvara 13 for a, for a race and it's cheaper. That is for sure. Uh, shoe quick specs for the New Balance Super Comp, the SC Pacer, I should call it. Uh, that's what most people call it these days. New Balance SC Pacer, eight millimeter drop. All right, there's that engineered mesh fuel cell through the midsole with the plate inside, rubber outsole, and that $150 Price point, wah, wah, wah. sorry, seven, almost in the sixes. So squeaking into the sevens, it just didn't quite do it for me. Yeah, it didn't quite do it for me, but that's okay. We'll keep trying. I think, um, hmm, yeah, we'll keep working on it. I don't, I'm trying to brainstorm on the spot here. How could we improve? Oh man, hmm. I don't know. I think I needed, you know, that 20 in the forefoot. I think I needed a little bit more. Just a little, I'd like 24 in the forefoot and then maybe 30 in the heel. I bet that would not solve it, but I bet that would help quite a bit. There you have it. Comment of the day, Brian Underwood. Here we go, Brian Underwood. That's a great last name. Seth, this was one of my favorite vlogs. I'm not sure which one this was from. I wish I had areas to run around like that, but I make do with what I, oh, that was, this was last week when I did a run with me vlog, okay? Uh, I, I appreciate you guys tuning in for 50 plus minutes of, of running there hopefully some people got to watch it on the treadmill um he says I, but i make do with what i have here in malaysia i see beauty all the time and then i get to show my wife and daughter the places i run and they gain new appreciation of what i do i'm feeling grateful and joyful that i'm 11 weeks into my training program and only a few niggles but feeling physically and mentally wonderful keep being you and sharing your love with us oh brian thank you for being here spreading the love right back at me so thanks for sharing your belly in malaysia that's on the other side of the world but it's someday i'd like to run in malaysia i've heard it's beautiful over there okay question of the day not sure how i thought of this one but um wow hit pause and listen when i ask these big ones like these big life questions it's an opportunity for me to reflect as well and i don't i don't always share an answer but i do reflect on them and i think it's good to kind of go through these exercises every day for example question of the day what is a good life now that's like, what, you know, that's, that's a huge question, but what is a good life? Every now and then I get so busy. I know I get into that rat race sometimes with myself and getting things done and getting the vlog done and testing shoes. And I don't slow down and just reflect upon what is a good life. So that's the question of the day. Thanks for tuning in, throwing a curveball at you here at the end. Onward and upward, New Balance SC pacer eh, we'll keep we'll keep uh we'll keep the keep the hope alive new balance 
uh, as we move forward with it. All right, we'll toss it to the New Balance Running Shoe Playlist right here, right here, right here. New Balance Running Shoe Playlist. All right, see beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.